Hey guys, last year at this time, I constructed the Ivy Roadmap, a section of our program dedicated to helping students achieve admissions into their dream schools amongst the top 20. For research for the Ivy Roadmap, I interviewed four students all attending top universities, Stanford, Harvard, and two going to Brown, including myself who's going to Dartmouth. And a common theme I noticed amongst those four students, and hopefully myself, were really strong personal statements. And I know it's August, so it's time to start writing these personal statements and putting them into the Common App. So I thought today I'd share with you the five biggest takeaways I got from reading those strong personal statements to help you try to include these things and have college admission success. Okay, so I just said the word takeaway. That's number one. Your personal statement should have a main takeaway. What is the one thing that the admissions officers are going to remember about you when they are done reading your essay and they go talk with their admissions panel about whether or not they should admit you? What's the one thing you want them to remember? And I like the idea of working backwards from an end goal. So maybe try to come up with the answer to this first. What is the one thing you want them to know about you? And then try to work a story backwards from that to tell that story and tell about that one thing you want them to take away. And all personal statements should have this. If you have too much information and too many things you're trying to show, you're not gonna have a main takeaway for them to run back with. Maybe it's what you wanna do in your, uh, with your future and how you wanna help um, a certain subset of your community. Maybe it's your ambitions. Um, maybe it's something that's defined you in the past. There's a lot of main takeaways possible, but just make sure you have one kind of strong main takeaway your whole thing's built around. This is the thesis of your argument, which is your personal statement. Now next, we have an engaging story. So you can give them takeaway after takeaway, but if they're not entertained by your personal statement, they're not really gonna be interested. Because let's be honest, these people are probably pretty bored. They're reading 650 word essay after 650 word essay of a bunch of students they're not gonna admit. So what's gonna make you different? Well, you gotta tell a story. People love stories. People love to be engaged. Tell it in a thrilling way. Think about the last book you read that you really loved. Maybe it was like all the way back in second grade reading the Percy Jackson series. But when you're reading good material and engaging stories, you can't help but read more. It's really hard to put it down. So it's exactly what you gotta do in your personal statement. I know you guys aren't world-class fiction writers, but I mean, this is one thing that it's like, if you just do this where every other student isn't doing this, you're gonna have a huge advantage. And that's just make your thing a story, make it so engaging, make it have ups and downs, plot twists, don't give away the thesis right away. Okay, next we have insight into personal personality. So personal is the main part of the word personality. And this is your personal statement. So we have to show characteristics about ourselves, And this ties in with the main takeaway, an engaging story. Because you have a main takeaway and you have an engaging story, you're probably shedding insight on yourself. But this is like, are you a funny person? Are you kind? What do you care about? And this is like, kind of a subset of the main takeaway. So maybe you have one main takeaway you want them to know about, and then three kind of supporting characteristics that go into that. Next, well, the next two, I guess, are more so syntactical instead of overarching uh, qualities. So we have clear sentences and little overstatement. You'd be amazed at how simple these sound, but how effective they are. So clear sentences. These people are kind of speed read through your essays. They're reading, again, thousands and thousands of them. You have to make them so clear. They're not going to go back and reread, reread to try to figure out what you're getting at, which means try to avoid really run on sentences with like four commas, three like clauses, adjective clauses in the middle with like a semicolon. That's really hard to understand. Try to keep your sentences really concise, really straight to the point. And honestly, this is just good writing practice in general. And if you embody that, they're also going to know you're the type of writer, the type of student that will thrive at their university. This brings me to my last point, which is often not touched on uh, when talking about essays and college admissions, but have little overstatement. People love to overstate things. Um, the biggest example is what I just did. People love. Love is such a strong word, obviously. It's, it's, it's the biggest emotion. And I just said people love to overstate things. Do they really love to overstate things? No, it's just, it's a figure of speech, right? But in our personal statements, we should be trying to avoid that because it kind of sets you up as a liar to the admissions officers. If you tell them, oh, I love to code and I love to help um, uh, a girl in my neighborhood, I love to tutor her, like avoid that word and just avoid words in general that 
overstate things or avoid coming off too strong for a certain thing. I hope you guys are understanding what I mean here because this loses your trust with the reader for the reasons I just stated. When you over embellish certain things, it disempowers the point you actually want to make. So maybe if you're overstating a lot about, I guess, that your love for math, and that takes away from your main takeaway, which it might be the thing you actually love or actually want to accomplish. So I hope this helps. Here are five kind of main tips or main commonalities I've seen in a lot of personal statements, strong ones at least, and I hope you can include these in your essays. Now, come back next week. I'm going to post another video about five qualities shared among um, supplemental essays, which are just as important. All right. Thank you.